Hey guys, I want to do just kind of a quicker review for you guys on the Roomba i7 Plus. I've been using this robotic vacuum for a while now, and I'm eager to tell you all about it. Um, it's kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about this. Um, I should mention real quick too, I actually found a pretty good deal on it, while it is fairly expensive. Um, I'll put a link to that below in the description, so you can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. So, like I said, this is Roomba's kind of latest and greatest technology iteration of their robot vacuum. The big feature with this one, um, that I find so convenient is that it has this automatic disposal system. Basically, what it does is every time it docks, it automatically empties the bin into a larger bin up on the top that holds much more stuff. It doesn't have to be changed really, every maybe two. Three weeks to a month, depending on how often you do it, is when you have to change the bin. So it's just super convenient. Now having to clean out your robot vacuum, having to clean out your robot vacuum every single time it does its job. The bin itself that it empties into is really easy to change out. Basically just pop the lid open, pull it out. It's like this white filter material that you just pull out, throw away, and put a new one in. Aside from that, to you are getting Roomba's best robot vacuum. It does the automatic mapping, very advanced when it comes to that. It works really good. It learns and maps your home the first time you use it. And it's just very efficient. Cleans unbelievably well. But the nice thing about the automatic mapping is that it does your home in a much shorter time than if it was just like you use the random style ones like they used to have, which they still have. You can get them. They're cheaper. But I could never really go back to those in my opinion. Um, it's just so convenient to have it done so much faster. Plus, if you have carpeting, which most likely you do, um, it has really nice even straight lines across everything. It just looks like a... It was professionally vacuum vacuumed, I guess you could say. But the navigation works really good. Um, they really perfected the algorithm. There's a lot of sensors in it. The app itself, uh, is very easy to use and works really good. It's fully, um, connectable with Alexa or your Google Assistant. Um, so you can voice command to do things. It even knows your kitchen, living room. You can assign room names, so you can say, you know, hey, go clean the master bedroom, and it'll just go do it and come back, which is really handy if you just want to do certain areas. You could do certain zones on your home to like, um, say you want to do like your kitchen and your bedroom, you could make that a zone and then say, hey, go do zone two or zone B, whatever you want to call it. But the, um, the suction and power, this thing has really impressed me also, um, this is coming from a Dyson. I had a Dyson animal before this, and I really didn't think that a little robot vacuum could clean as good. And to be honest with you, it cleans as good if not better than my Dyson did. So I was very impressed with that. Controlling the room, the Roomba is a breeze through the iRobot Home app. You can start or schedule cleanings from anywhere, check cleaning history, and even receive notifications when it's time to replace parts. It's user-friendly and keeps you in control of your cleaning. So yeah, I mean, these things have gotten really good to the point where if you've never had a robot vacuum before, it's one of those things that once you get it, you can like never live without it. Like a lot of people, the first one I bought was a cheaper one, so I wasn't sure how I'd like these. It was just like an EcoVac $200 thing, and it worked okay. It didn't vacuum near as good as this one and didn't have the auto mapping, but it kind of got me into it. And then it was like from there, I knew I had to get a better one because it was just worth it to not have to vacuum your house anymore is huge. It's just I could never go back to having to do that again. And maybe I'm lazy, but it's just such a convenience. It's just like, could you really go back to living without a washer and dryer now? But yeah, anyway, highly recommend this thing. It's awesome. If, if you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.